Warning, this show contains strong language and topics that some viewers may find offensive. Listen, discretion is advised. Hello, Why have you been going down on your grandma? I thought Layla died. Yeah, right, we've lost. My name is Coach. Guy looks like a pedophile. It's Blue. Woo! Ah, okay. He played keep away with his glasses. Bitchy drivers, man. Bleh. Hello wrestling fans and welcome to whatever the hell this is. I am Andy Watt and with me as always is no one. So basically everyone else is busy but some, some news has, uh, has broke if you like. Uh, CM Punk has basically given his thoughts and his side of the story on why he left the WWE. And I can't ignore this without saying something about it, because I'm an idiot. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to rant about it, because the WWE is a piece of shit. Yep. So, I don't know really where to begin. Let's go with the injuries that Punk talks about. So, Punk has had two fucked up knees. He had multiple concussions. He had this weird staph infection that they chose to ignore and then gave him antibiotics, which basically, literally, and I mean this, made him shit himself and didn't give a shit about his health or well-being. Then in terms of storyline, they didn't have any idea what they were doing. They put him in a program with The Rock and then was like, is The Rock going to be on Raw next, next, you know, next Monday? No. Uh, oh. Uh, am I going to be there? Yeah. What's the point in this? Second, they paired him up with The Undertaker, had quote-unquote the match of the night, but they didn't pay him that amount of money for match of the night. So that's a shitty thing in its own right. And then, he has... He came up with the idea of the shield, and literally, it was going to be he wanted Rollins, he wanted Chris Hero, and he wanted Dean Ambrose. Instead, they gave him Roman Reigns, for better or worse, is arguable. But then, after that, they just completely ignored the fact that he wanted the Shield to be his team, and just let them do their own thing. This whole thing is a mess. Because, for three years, he was told by Vince McMahon, that, oh hey, I'll owe you one. So after working with broken ribs, after having two fucked up knees, he, he, was in a, he was in a fucking Money in the Bank ladder match, after having fucked up ribs, fucked up knees, and then the worst thing of all, and I have said this for fucking years, Ryback sucks. Ryback is the worst. Ryback, I remember going to a bar, pissed off my fucking face, saying, this guy... Is fucking, I've never worked a match in my life. And I pray to God I never work a match in my life. But this guy is the most unsafe fuck I've ever seen in my life. You know who broke Punk's ribs? Oh yeah, right back. So it's just like, these past three years since he came back after, quite literally, this may be the second biggest storyline ever, besides from a man shouting the word yes, you treat him like shit. And then he leaves. And then, the best part of this thing was, was that they treat him like shit, like, in his own hometown, they're like, oh hey, he's a queer. No, 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 no. What you actually did, and what you failed to tell, not only the public, the fans, but your own fucking publicly traded people who own stocks, and stockholders in your company, you said he was on a sabbatical. No, you didn't. You suspended his fucking ass. And then, you just fired him. You didn't tell us that bit, did you? Funnily enough, you also don't tell us when everyone doesn't make a wish stuff, because apparently it's not just Cena, it's everyone. But you focus on John Cena because, hey, it's John Cena. Which, by the way, if Cena got hurt, fucked up his legs, fucked up his ribs, suffered multiple concussions, I think he would get time off and not work fucking TLC matches and fucking Hell in a Cell matches and Money in the Bank matches. Nope, I'm sure that wouldn't be a thing, would it? No, well, of course, of course. 
and it's just a joke. This fucking thing is a joke. And the thing that really gets on my tits, for some reason, I don't know why, when I think that these guys are normal, morally ripe human beings, this fucking company, on his wedding day, fire him. And, like... They don't give him the checks that he's, like, the royalty checks that he deserves, because his name is slapped onto everything. He's the, he's the only guy ever in the history since John Cena's been there to outsell John Cena. And then they were like, oh, we're not going to give you money. Uh, no, you dickhead. Um, if I've earned this money, I'm going to get it, you stupid shit. That's how life works. Not, not fucking... Oh, you left. Well, we're not going to give you what you pay, what you earn. Uh, we're not going to pay you. Uh, uh, no, that's that's not how life works, you fucking idiot. So no wonder he got a lawyer to come in and be like, yeah, these guys are shitheads. That's basically the moral of that story. They are shitheads. And when I really sit there and think that TNA can't, can't, they can't do anything worse like they're at the top of shit like they're at the top of the worst things on earth because they didn't have a tv deal forever they tape about 800 of their shows they fired a guy that was paralyzed in their ring even though he had a job for life dixie car literally put james storm's fucking head on a hurricane and said it was heading for japan even though there was a hurricane heading for fucking japan and they fucking just do dumb things where they don't listen to the fans and they do dumb storylines where they just rip off TV shows like Dexter, Aces and Eights, fucking anything else that's not relevant. Stupid Aces and Eights is not... The Sons of Anarchy, that's the one. And that's... That, I thought, was the height of stupidity in this business. But unfortunately, why is it that the number one company, why is it that, you know, the whole, I don't know, the big leagues fucking do this? Like, what, if they're, if they're running this shit like this, what the fuck is happening? Like, it's, it, it doesn't make any sense in my head. I have screamed and shouted, saying, what, at the shit that Punk is saying? It's the, it's the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. It's like, no one else would get this. John Cena would never get treated like this. Never, ever, ever, ever. That's the problem I have, is that this guy, blah, 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 is one of the top guys ever. That's it. He's in the record books now as being one of the top guys ever because of the shit that he's done. And now he gets treated like a complete wank to the point, quite literally, to the fucking point where he never wants any part in this business again. Never, ever, 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 ever again. When he said, I'm never, ever, 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 ever coming back, that's, that's basically the God's honest truth. Because he would rather go to fucking NHL games than fucking being this shit. And I don't fucking blame him. Because I'm just sick to death. It's not only this company's shit lack of awareness for anything else. Just, just anything. They have no awareness of anything. It's being run by a 70 year old who has no idea what the fuck he's doing. He doesn't know what's culturally relevant anymore. Take the RKO Vine thing, for instance. That was the biggest thing ever to organically happen in the history of ever, and they don't do anything about it. They literally don't do anything. Take Survivor Series. They could have brought in Orton for one night. RKO out of nowhere. It would have, I mean, it might have done something. And Liam's right, it might have done something. But for fuck's sake, they did nothing. And now, and now, with this whole shit, it's like, this product is toss. It's crap. It's the worst it's ever been. How do you go from WrestleMania 30 to, what was it, 80,000 people screaming yes? Fucking, with Daniel Bryan with those two belts and confetti flying and the fireworks going off and fucking the grazing and the fucking history of fucking wrestling in the past fucking 10 years. And now with this, well, now we're at the anonymous Raw general manager and the fucking WWE champion hasn't been on fucking TV for two fucking months. How the fucking shit did we get here? How did we get here? I get it. Injuries happen. But there's, like, no contingency plan. At all. There can't be a contingency plan. It's just fucking stupid. Because their only contingency plan is, let's go back to the same fucking guy. The same fucking guy for ten years. That's your contingency plan. Fucking square head. 
square head Cena. That's all we have. Fucking fuck. Just fuck this thing. This whole thing is a mess. This whole thing should have been the greatest thing ever this year. They brought in the network. Every fucking pay-per-view, every fucking TV show, every fucking thing online. And and then 20 minutes, 20 fucking minutes before, it doesn't go live here. Hello? No wonder, no wonder the business is quasi-dead. This whole thing is dead. The business is, is fucked. Because of idiots. Idiots who are stuck in the 1980s and 1970s. Quite literally, it's fucked. Because you've got idiots like Jim Ross running around going, I think the guys in Ring Bonner need to move too slowly. Which doesn't even make any sense. And then it's just like, I think they need to start throwing closed fists. It's ruining the business. Uh, what? What is happening? Why Why are idiots running this? What is going on? What? Why? And I said it once, and I'll fucking say it till I am blue in the fucking face. How in the fuck is this? This is a consumer-driven industry, right? This has to be. So why does no one listen to us? It, I'm scratching my head. I can't fucking figure it out. Like, fucking the only time they ever did. And actually, case in point, when they did, they did the craziest thing ever. They gave Brian the bell. And they fucked it up, and then he got hurt. Why are these people stupid? I don't, I don't get it. And it's not, it's not just, it's not just like the seventy-year-old that's running it. Well, uh, um, the, like fucking, it doesn't matter if Hunt is running it, Stephanie running it, if Dixie's running TNA, or a fucking turd is running anything. I can't get my head round any of this. How are any of these businesses even, even a thing? I don't get it. Oh yeah, it's your fault. Yes, I'm talking to you. So, here's my last plea. Because I swear to God, if, if, if things don't improve, I'm giving up. I'm, I'm, I've lost the will to care. I watch more UFC now than wrestling. I, I watch more of The Apprentice this past week than I have of fucking pro wrestling. Because I've had enough. It's boring. It's shit. They've run out of ideas. The fucking anonymous rule general manager's back. I can't deal with it anymore. It's driving me insane. So, where am I going with this? I don't know. You see what I mean? I've now lost all train of thought because talking about this has not only fucked up my head, it's now fucked up my voice. I might have to stop. <laughs> the point is, I'll just fucking end this now and conclude. WWE is now a piece of shit because the way that they've booked everything, it's like they've just shot themselves in the foot at every turn, at every point from January when they had Batista winning the Rumble to booking Brian like a fucking goober idiot to fucking up Roman Reigns and then he gets hurt to fucking up Bray Wyatt because he's just shit now and it's just crap. The fact that we're celebrating the fact that Dolph Ziggler is getting a push. We shouldn't even be celebrating. It should just be a thing. It shouldn't just be something like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. Like, no, this should be a thing. This should be the greatest thing ever in the history of life. But it's not. Because I guarantee you, as soon as that rain goes down... It's like fucking people with fucking bipolar. Oh god, we gotta bring back Cena and Sting and fucking Brock Lesnar. Like, just make people. You, you did it with Brian. Congratulations. No, you didn't. Actually, no, no, I take that back. You did fuck all. You, you, you actually listened to the people. And unfortunately, you're a publicly traded company. Uh, toy, listen to the people. There. Just fucking s stop. Just stop being... An idiotic piece of shit. Because it doesn't make any sense. You're a publicly traded company that doesn't listen to people. If the t one of the top guys in the business has now been driven out of the business because of the shit that you've been doing. It makes me laugh how CM Punk confirmed all the shit we've been talking about. These part-timers <laughs> and everything else. Just stop. It's killing the business. It's killing it. Fact.
I got pissed one night when Cena won at like one pay per view, and I think he, I think he beat The Rock, and I was like, the business is dead. And you know what? I think Drunk Andy was right for once. It's fucking depressing. I can't, I can't deal with it anymore. I might just have to take like six months off. I don't know. I'll do the end end year awards, but Jesus Christ. God almighty, just... Oh, God. Wrestling is shit. Right, I'm going to do something fun, like... I don't know. Toss myself off or something. Sounds much better than fucking wrestling right now. No, I'm just going to sleep. That, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, fuck it. Goodbye. The fuck did I know you